Hello YouTube family, Greg D here with TGN and we are back for another DCUO video and as you see here we are looking a little different because we in fact switched to Rage. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be showing you a Rage Melee loadout because that's the one that everyone has fun with, that's the one that has the combos and that's the one that most times does the most amount of damage. So without further ado Let's get right into it. So as far as your stat points are concerned, as per usual with most OP DPS loadouts, you want to go Focus Super Powered, then you want to do Critical Attack Chance, Critical Attack Damage, and whatever you have left goes into Might and Power. Because all of your damage in this loadout will be coming from Might, so you want to make sure that you have as much Might and Power as possible so that you're not running out of power. Now, obviously, too, you want to have make sure you have your one point in your super speed movement. We're not going to do anything in your Iconics. And as far as your weapons go, all you really need to do is make sure you have your one point in your whatever weapon that you're using because you're not going to be using it at all, but you need to have it. So there's that. So as far as the loadout, from left to right, we have Outrage, Revenge, Lacerate, Berserk, Galling Eruption, and Plasma Wretch. So basically what I'm going to be doing with this loadout is we're going to be going from uh, left to right, but we're going to start with Galling Eruption and Plasma Wretch. So basically those two powers will get your uh, power interaction, your Plasma Burn going, and they also do damage over time. So not only are you going to have the melee attacks of the... Um, you know the combos from doing these three moves, but you're going to be having damage over time as well So that just helps um, Buff up your damage over you know your your total numbers as far as the damage So then you'll see here outrage So this actually has two combos So you hit the, you basically you hit the power and then you tap melee and then you hold melee and you'll get like a three hit combo essentially with outrage then you go we're gonna go into revenge where you hold melee and it does like a second combo move and then we're going to be doing lacerate which is not actually a um, combo move itself but um, once you get the combos actually down you will notice that you'll do a boatload of damage i've noticed numbers anywhere from you know seven thousand eight thousand to you know ten twelve thousand a hit which is pretty um nice and you'll see here and then we have berserk which is focus your hate causing a portion of the damage you deal to be dealt again to enemies for a short time so it's basically just kind of like a attack buff there um now you can switch out lacerate if you so choose with something like eviscerating chain if you want another uh combo especially like if you want to have something that's more like a single target um hit um so th that's something that you can actually uh switch out if you so choose um, but this is what I've gone with, so I will show you how we do. So basically, like I said, you're going to want to go from left to right using Galling Eruption to start. So you're going to hit your two, and then you're going to tap, hold, and then go into prevent, oh, and then lacerate, and then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There you go. So that is essentially, in a nutshell, the rotation. Pretty pretty easy you just have to get the remember to do the combos with outrage and revenge so once again let's go through it you're going to galling eruption plasma wretch you're going to combo combo into revenge combo and then you're going to hit 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 so this is much like earth and the fact that this particular loadout is totally melee um it does a boatload of damage can do really fast damage and it's a lot of fun, especially if you're a person who does like using um, combo powers. And Rage is by far one of the best and fastest DPSs, or DPS powers, I should say, at the particular moment. So um, keep that in mind. So now let's see if popping my trinket here actually helps. So let's pop the trinket, and then we'll see how the damage increases here. So tap, hold, and then you hold, and then you... Da -da 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 and then you and then you can just kind of go back into and that's essentially i think what i would do so essentially let me let my power go back up here because plasma plasma wretch and or and galling eruption kind of take a minute to cool down so essentially what i'm going to do especially in the top end content is what i would do is i would start here get these going 
know, do your combos. And then when this stops, I'm going to essentially go through the combos again. And as you see there, I hit for like a 16,000. I actually hit precision there, but didn't want to do that. So Now, if you want something also to clip with Galling Eruption, because Galling Eruption, you can clip. You can try to do, do one of these other powers. So essentially, maybe you want another combo power. You could do something like Frenzy. Um, you could do something like, well, we already have Revenge. You could do something like Violence. Um, that just, let's see, let's kind of play with this a little bit while we're here. So let's say, oh, whoops, let me let me go away here. Sorry, can't, can't, can't change while you're in the thing. Can't change. So just trying to give you guys some options in case you don't want to use, uh, whoops, Plasma Wretch. So let's go. What were we using? No, what was it? Frenzy we were using? No, no, we weren't. Oh. We were using violence, my bad. So let's use violence in there and see how that makes any difference here. So we're going to come back over here. All right, now we'll show you this. Okay, so. So in that case, too, you'll notice that the powers cool down, so you can essentially get two rotations of your little combo moves down lickety-split. So just giving you some options, kind of play with it, see what you like. I personally like having the extra damage over time, but if you want something that's kind of like a, just a, you know, a one hit there. Now you can also try something like, uh, let's put Frenzy in there, and we'll see how that does. Once again, these are also all moves that once you get the power interaction set up, you'll be able to do, like all these other moves will do extra damage. So with Frenzy, let's look at that real quick. And that says, tap melee six times. Frenzy subsequent Frenzy combo attacks are faster than the last. Okay. Wow. All right. So let's try to get the, uh, let's, let's check out the timing here. Oh, this is just... Gotcha. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. I see. I see. I gotcha. So we can kind of go. Duh. Oh, we can go. So you can kind of, um, the nice thing is, is with that last rate, you can kind of pretty much stop it whenever you see fit. You don't have to sit there and keep spinning around too. So if you notice, you can like sit there and spin, but if you want to, you can just go right into the next um, thing if you want. So like, instead of just sitting here and spinning, I can go right back into Outrage if I want to essentially. Mason, relax with the like banging, dude. <laughs> so you can sit here and spin and then you can go right, maybe not, okay. So I thought you could cancel that, but I guess not. But that just gives you some idea. I don't know if I would necessarily use Frenzy, yeah. but out of all the things that I've tried here, you could do Construct a Shield from the Essence of Rage Preventing. So if you want like a shield, technically you could use this, although I don't know if I would technically use that myself, but um, uh, let's see. Oh, let's show you Eviscerating Chain here, I guess. So let's, let's put this in instead of that. And then we'll show you... Ah, oh, damn it, I keep forgetting that I can't do that. Okay, so let's go away. Let's just show you the Eviscerating Chain real quick here, and then we will call it a day. So, like I said, if it were me, I would like... I like, personally, I like using the damage over time. But, like I said, if you want, like, an extra combo that's a single target, you can throw this in here as well. I'm just giving you guys some options. But, I mean, the main part of the loadout itself is pretty much the same. It's just... Kind of fine tuning it to what you like and what your preferences are so you can go like this then you can go so i mean you can easily see there you can get like you know two two combos easily now if you want a supercharged generator there is actually a way to do that as well i forget where it is here let me see where is, I saw it before, where the heck is it? 
Relentless Anger, that's what it is. So this is leap at your enemies at Infury, damaging and knocking them over time, inflicts plasma burn, so you can also do something like this. So if you don't necessarily want the Eviscerating Chain for the pool move, you know, that would be good for tanking, obviously. So, oh, damn it, I forgot. I gotta go away again. Oh my god. Getting on my nerves. Okay. Am I, am I out of combat yet? Come on. Come on. Come on. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Okay. So, let's try this one real quick. We can do Relentless Anger. Put that in there. And then we have a Supercharge Generator. So that is just something to keep in mind as well. So you can go ahead and go... Combo, and then you combo, and then you combo, and then you like that, and then you combo, and then you combo. Combo, 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 combo! So, there you go. Raged, melee, like I said, I think I still end up using the damage over time. That's just me. It might take a little longer to get your damage set up, but I feel like in the long run, the damage over time will definitely help you... Um, as far as the whole time that it cools down and let's see what was i using this is what i was using yeah that's what i was using okie dokie so there you go rage melee fast fun combo rific damage that should be very easy for most people the combos aren't that difficult so there you go go so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching as always stay tuned because i will be making a separate video for a ranged loadout so keep that in mind so thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more and until next time we'll see you soon